What's up, y'all? Hey, everyone. I think I have a confession to make. What is your confession? I think I'm addicted to bubble tea. That's your confession? I already knew that. Oh. Today, we're at the established Chan Yang Tea NYC bubble tea shop. And we'll be showing you all the behind the counter action of how the magic happens. Are you ready for your bubble fix? I am ready. Let's, Let's go. go. And we're lucky enough to be touring a bubble tea shop before it's grand opening today. Even before it's soft opening. <laughs> Let's get this tour started. Hold on, what is bubble tea even? Bubble tea is a Taiwanese drink that combines milk tea and tapioca. Okay, wait, wait. What is tapioca? Tapioca, in short, are cassava starch balls, which is a fruit from South America. Okay. Let's go, can we go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that? Did you forget already? I already told you, these are the tapioca balls. These are made from cassava starch, which is a root vegetable from South America, also referred to as yuca. Vegetable? So yeah. I'll be having my vegetable intake by drinking boba? Sure! So these uncooked tapioca balls, they start off hard, small, about pea size right here, just like this, and then they are boiled in water and it becomes black and chewy and bouncy. So these are called bubble tea. There's actually a lot of names. People refer to this Taiwanese drink as bubble tea, bubble milk tea, pearl milk tea, jeonju lai cha, which is the Mandarin version, and just simply boba. So we're lucky enough to be witnessing this new winter drink menu. Here we have pudding on the bottom and brown sugar syrup on top. And here we have three standard soaps to make the tea and tapioca and they let it cook for a long time and the tapioca balls that you were showing earlier they actually have to be cooked for 90 minutes in the morning and if it's brown sugar boba it has to be cooked for two hours so the staff have to come in two hours before it's opening every morning just to prep that and this is actually the timer they use everything is very delicate very precise this is the boiler mainly for tea cooking we save more time if you use hot water here otherwise you need to take a long time to heat up the, the tea but the two sealers and customer actually can choose from using the seal or we can actually give the lid. Oh, yeah, so there's two options here. Okay. So if you go to a bubble tea store, always ask for sugar level, right? Yeah. 30%, 50%, 70%. So oh, all wow. our drinks are customized sugar level. It will show up from here. Oh, wow. So the number actually goes, you just press a button and it's yes. there. One of the rules for health department, each of the stores, especially the restaurants, will need to have two refrigerators. That's by law. So one is here as a low boy, the other one will be the regular refrigerator. Okay. Gotcha. And this one's for all the fruits. Yeah, this one we put, put all the fruits down there. Ah. Two separate refrigerators. Yep. Very cool. I always wonder why there's so many. <laughs> yep. We try to have different shifts, like early shift and night shifts, so okay. to make sure that our staff is energetic, energetic happy, yeah. not too tired. How many bubble teas do you expect to sell a day? For Chenyan, probably around 500 to 600 cups per day. Wow. Yeah, and then it depends on the weather condition. So sometimes it's during the winter time, snowy day or rainy day, it's slow down a little bit. But it's good for slowing down, to be honest with you, because <laughs> I, I want the people, they actually can enjoy the environment in the store right yeah. so we want them to stay longer instead of you know rushing every customers to put all the drinks that will affect the quality as well so mm. we make sure that our teas and our drinks are in the best quality sometimes we have the holiday drinks special edition a lot of customers they came here for just the cup <laughs> <laughs> Chenyang likes to cooperate with uh, some other brands we do collaborations past summer we actually collaborate with one of the ice cream stores with smooth we have the honey osman this ice cream and the hoji cha ice cream they are pretty those are delicious. Also, uh, very delicious. <laughs> there are still customers coming in and ask for it. Oh. Even in the winter time. Maybe in hopefully next year we yeah. come up with more flavors and work with them. What's the process of creativity? How did you come up with these drink ideas? Oh, actually we have to follow the main oh. company in Taiwan. Okay. So the recipes and everything we need to follow them. Authentic and Taiwanese? Yes. Okay. And then all the ingredients are actually from Taiwan too. There is some delay in the Long Island city stores because of the shipment. Yeah. We have to really be careful on our all the ingredients has to be sufficient yeah. before we start it up. I see. Yeah. That's actually a problem with all the drink store, even in Starbucks as well. Yeah. So what's the best thing about working in a bubble tea shop? Free drinks every day. Wow, good response. <laughs> May want, want to work, work here. Yeah, work here. <laughs> One very important procedure for our staff is every single morning, we have to drink our own tea <laughs> to make sure it's in good quality before we're selling the first cup. I like that. Yep. Cheers. Oh, cheers. cheers. Yeah. I love passion fruit. That's why I like them, real fruit flavors. 
you very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> ben, you asked me so many questions today. It's my turn to ask you a question. Why do you love bubble tea so much? There's a lot of reasons, you know, but today I learned another reason is that some of these places actually use real, fresh, healthy ingredients. So I don't feel bad drinking at all, at least for here. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I actually learned a lot more than I expected to today. Yeah, it was freaking great. It was great meeting all the wonderful staff and just cool seeing all how they operate day to day. We're coming back during its grand opening. Till next time. Thank you.